Hello out there and welcome to my channel. I am Milesy and today I want to do a quick review on embroidery pens. Specifically these Leonis embroidery pens right here. And here's what the other side looks like. They're just your typical blue water erasable pen. And when I bought these on Amazon, I thought that they were a lot bigger. For some reason, I thought that they'd be like those big thick Crayola markers uh, because I wanted something like that since I go through so many of these things that I wanted something that would last more than two or three projects. And I was a little surprised when they came and they were this big, they're very tiny. But once I got them and I actually took a look at them, I realized that they are tiny because these will actually fit in your craft boxes. Uh, they'll fit in the long compartment very easily and you can fit many of them in there. So you can actually take them with you instead of having to have a second pen bag or risk losing them. So I do like that. That was a plus, even though I was expecting them to be a lot bigger for some reason. And I have used these on the last three projects that I have gridded. So I've got to know them pretty well at this point. Uh, I did give them a quick field test along with the Crayola markers. They were one of the embroidery pens that I was testing. Uh, not quite as a control, I was using the pens that I've been using, those big blue long ones, which I forgot to grab. Uh, that was the control, and then these were just kind of one of the variables because I'd never heard of them, so we do know that they work. That is one thing that I can say for certain is that they work. Uh, the problem that I always have with these pens, though, is that you get your little tip right there, and I'm not sure if this will want to focus on it, but... I always have problems with the tip getting very dull and frazzled before I run out of ink, although I do also run out of ink a lot as well. Uh, so I've done three different projects with these so far, and the pens that I've used have all stood up pretty well. Let me find the other one that I've used. There we go. So I, used, I gave this pen a good thrashing, and this tip is still pretty sharp. And the tip on the other one, and I know which ones I've used, the tip on this one is a little blunt. I'm not sure, again, how well you can see that, but it hasn't completely frayed. So the tips are pretty strong as well, which is a nice thing. Uh, I do have one small problem with these pens, though. It's a small problem, but it's a problem. When I was working on gritting one of these, I noticed that I had a blue smudge right here on my hand, which is a weird place to get a blue smudge. And I kind of panicked thinking, oh no, I have I smudged the fabric with the pen somehow? And I checked the fabric and there was no smudge. And where's that other one? I just had it in my hand. Here we go. It took me a little while to notice that you can see it right here really well. The ink on the outside will come off with very little issue. So that's how I know which pens I've used because this was the one that I used to grid my big personal project. And I think this one got used on either Strange or Spider-Man. And let me see which one was the third one. This one. This one probably got used on Spider-Man because the smudging is very small. This one was probably used on Strange because there's a lot more smudging. So that is a downside is that the labels will come off and get onto your hand. And I haven't noticed that they got onto the fabric, but yeah, it was worrisome and not expected. So that's going to go into my Amazon review as well. But other than that, I do like these. It's just a quick little review of some embroidery pens that I have been using. Uh, they travel really well. That's a good plus. The tips stand up. They erase exactly as you would expect them to. So pretty decent little pens. They come in a pack of five. Again, they are, what are they called? Leonis water erasable pens. So yeah, I will go ahead and put a link for these down in the description below. They come in a pack of five for $10, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, and they seem to have some pretty good staying power. I'm not sure how long all five will last me, although now I know how to tell which ones I've been using. So I'll have a little bit of a better 
understanding of that, but they seem like they last a long time. They do come out really well, and it has a tip that stays sharp, which is especially useful if you're like me and you like to use the higher counts. Uh, if you're using 14 count, it doesn't really matter if they get a little bit smudgy and weird, but these have all been used on 22 count. That's what I do most of my projects on. And even the big one with the wolf that has completely lost all of its ink. Uh, this was the only one I used on that project and the tip is still nice and sharp. So since these were brand new and I'd never come across them before, I did wanna just do a quick little road test of them and to let you know what I thought. And I really like these. Uh, I'm probably going to continue to buy these because they are super cool and they fit in my craft box. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this here. It's not a super big review. I just wanted to let you know what I found in them uh, because I figured you guys might like to know that as well. So been doing a lot of pens lately. Maybe I'll find something else to take a look at in the future as well. But thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Make sure you check me out on social media and check out the links down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.